Hey iHacker45 here, and today I'll be showing you my third tutorial for the iPhone SDK development. We will be doing an extremely simple tutorial in which you will make a keyboard close by pressing the done button. Go ahead and launch Xcode. Go to File, New Project, View Based Application, and we're going to name this Keyboard Done. Let's build and go to see if it's working. Okay, good. Let's put it out of that. Now go to your resources. Launch your keyboard done view controller.nib file. And again, if connections and library doesn't pop up, go to tools, library, and tools inspector. Now, for this tutorial, we're just going to drag a simple UI text field into view. Expand it. And now save and quit. Go to your classes and go into your keyboard done view controller.h. And now inside, outside, sorry, outside of your brackets, type the following dash, open parentheses, IV action, close parentheses, and we're gonna name this done. Semicolon, open parentheses, ID, close parentheses, sender. By now you should be familiar with the IV action. If you're not, go watch my last tutorial. Now save this and go into your .m file. Now type dash IV action, close parentheses, done, colon, open parentheses, ID, sender, and do it open and close brackets. Now you are done, except you have to link it. As you may have noticed, nothing's in the brackets. Don't worry about that. Just save it and go back to your nib file, keyboard done view controller .nib. Now go to files owner and drag done to your text field and just press did end on exit. Save it, quit. That's all you have to do. So now, as you can see, hello, you press return and it closes. But wait, there's one more thing you want to do. Go to your resources. Go to your nib file. Now click on your text field. Go to attributes. And at the return key, you can change it to whatever you want. We're going to change it to done. Save and quit. Build and go. As you can see, the button over here is now done. That will be all. Comment, subscribe. Goodbye.